Hello guys, it is Extra and welcome to another episode of... The Blinding of Isaac. Yes. Decided I wanted to stream yesterday, so I didn't have an episode for you guys, but uh, we'll go ahead and do an episode now. Um, this may be a bit of a quick one. Um, it might not be, we'll see how we do, but um, I have a lot of stuff that I need to do today, so we're going to try and get through this as quickly as we can, which means I might make the odd mistake here and there, but hey, it's still a learning experience, so let's be honest, we're not really expecting me to, to get that far anyway. So, let's go random, and we get Isaac. Okay, we get Isaac, our Lord and Saviour, the Chosen One. I've always wondered with Biden of Isaac, and again, it's just me looking into things too much, I wonder what happened to Isaac in the end, because if we're going to have, if there's going to be an end law to it, obviously you don't include the Isaac battle, because doesn't make sense so the way i'd say it probably happened is once isaac beat once isaac beat mum basically what happens is i think probably the angels or a angel or you know whatever probably clear like probably just took him and claimed him and made him a um made him an angel which explains like i somewhat explains the like the actual isaac boss if you want to look at it that way because obviously the Isaac boss has wings and has the whole heavenly aura thing going on and that kind of thing. So I like to think that's how... It, now, Maggie, Cain, Judas, they don't have storylines. So what, what, the way I like to think of it is those characters are added once you've beat the game with Isaac. So if we're using that, you could argue that they're his disciples. At least that's what I like to think. I like to think, you know, Isaac is the chosen one and Eve, Cain... All the others are Isaac's disciples. But hey, like I said, it's me looking too far into it. But it's nice to think about these things. I don't know, get you more immersed in the game, I think. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and take the ladder. Why not? Especially if you get if you get an item like the ladder early, like the amount of extra keys and stuff that you're going to get, and the amount of bombs and keys that you could possibly save, like, it just seems all the way worth to me. Um, because we are Isaac, we will go into the... Uh, Sacrifice room, pain room, trap room, whatever you want to call it. And two soul hearts. Cool. So we're off to a pretty good start. I love the fact that we got x-ray glasses, because now, not only do we get all the secret rooms, we also have ladders, so we save a lot of bombs, a lot of keys. All in all, not, te not terrible at all. No damage items or HP items, so we're still kind of the default Isaac, but... The default Isaac is not that bad at all, so... I am pretty much fine with that. And I just realised I've got my audio settings set to uh, external, so you might be able to hear it, you might not be able to hear it. If you can't hear it, I'm going to change it in a second anyway, but let me just finish this boss. Uh oh. Ah! Get out of here. I think it's worth using that bomb just because, again, because we did get, because we did get 3D glasses and we did get, ooh, Cuba meat. I love Cuba meat. Like, Cuba meat, just the first form of Cuba meat is so useful at blocking flies, for example, and stuff like that. Any melee, any type of melee monster, Cuba meat just does so much damage. So, I'm all for that. Again, we've got no direct buffs for Isaac, but the amount of, what's the word? In, hmm, can't think of the word off the top of my head. Indirect. The amount of indirect buffs that Isaac has right now is fine. We've got all the. We can get all the rooms. We can get. We can probably save a lot of bombs from the. From the ladders and all in all, reasonably happy. This is set up to be quite a late game one, I think, which I'm all for that. And, ooh, spider bite. Okay, I like that. Lust is now useless. Uh, who else is useless? Gemini is now useless. Uh, is it Bobby? I think it's Bobby. Maybe. The black, and, the black and white one. Yeah, I think it's Bobby. Well, he's now useless. Apart from the shooty thing, but honestly, if you're anywhere decent, I, I shouldn't be getting hit. We're going to take, take pushpin over Goat Who. I call it a little bit 
We're gonna take a push pin over go goat hoof, I think. I literally just woke up, guys. Like I'm, I'm so here, but I'm not here. Makes no sense. Doesn't make any sense at all. Taking a lot of free hits here too. I gotta work on that. All right, so we're gonna take the bomb. Do 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 do. Like there you go, like stuff like that. Like Cuban meat just saved me from taking a free hit there. Right, um, is that worth a bomb to get that key? Not really. Um, we'll have a look. See if the go the treasure room needs a key. If if the treasure room needs a key, then then we'll come back for it. But otherwise, otherwise we'll go ahead and leave it. I think, and it does need a key. Okay. In that case, I hate these flies. I very much dislike you, sir. Please remove yourself from my life. Uh oh. Gotcha. Alright, so let's use this key first. We get Void Wage. I am a okay with that. Speed can be an issue sometimes, but um, it's, still, it's, it's still a buff. You know what I mean? It's just a matter of are you going to let the extra speed get you killed in really stupid ways? Which, if you're anywhere decent, the answer to that is no. Alright, there's a coin room. And I think that's a super secret room, because it makes that noise. As far as I'm aware, the normal, like, hidden rooms don't make that noise. Could be mistaken, but, um... These are going to be a lot easier to deal with, too, now that I've got the slowdown. And that guy's just... He's not interested. Nope. Alright, well. Burnt penny. Right. I think, could be mistaken, but I think every time you get a coin, you get a bomb. Well, not every time, but... Hmm. Tempting. Push penny or burnt... Push penny. Push pin or burnt penny. We're going to try Burnt Penny, because uh, we've had Push Pin before, I know Push Pin's good, therefore should probably be trying something new, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So before we go anywhere, we're going to go down here, and we are going to get this key then, because we're going to have unlimited bombs, so that's perfectly fine. We can also go this way, so we don't have to waste our coins, we can just have a look to see what was in the coin room. Compass is somewhat... Somewhat nice, um, but that's about it. And seven coins, we might get lucky and get it from the boss fight, but I'm not going to lose any sleep if we don't uh, if we don't get the compass. Nice item though. So, apparently, if you hit... It, the slowdown effect on Lowey only works if you hit the head. In fact, I'm going to double-check that. Yeah, so there you go. But if I hit the head... Yeah, it works. Okay, there you go. Lesson learned. Keep that in mind, should I ever get this... I think this is the first time I've ever had this, uh, this item, I think. But uh certainly seems to do the job. Gotcha. Alright, what and meat. I'll take that. Um, didn't get any coins. So. Yeah, next floor. Okay. Cool. Taking a lot of free hits here. Luckily it was just soul heart, so uh that's fine. But uh I need to step my game up a little bit here. Get back. See the flies are killing me more than he he's killing me. Do you know what? Let's just start picking these flies off. Ooh. All right. 
right. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. And there we go. Right, quickly. Before I forget, playback devices, speaker. There we go. Options, mute. Whoops. Huh, okay, now it's not working at all. Okay, cheers on mine. If you can hear it, you can hear it. I'll turn it up a little bit. There you go. Hopefully you should still be able to hear it somewhat. And hopefully it doesn't get in the way of hearing me. But uh, we'll cross that problem when it comes to it. It's almost worth letting the keepers hit me at least once. Because I know that I can place the hearts and I'm getting free bombs out of it. Don't know if that would be considered metagaming. But uh, hey, I'll exploit any... Uh, I'll exploit it all at this point. I do have a damage item. Nothing's dying particularly quickly. Alright, treasure room. Ooh, sack of pennies. Interesting. Oh my god, the sack of pennies burnt penny synergy. I can see that becoming extremely useful in the late game. Right, see now I need keys, that's the problem. Right, it's another gold chest, that's no good to me without a key. Hmm. Ah. Aha, there's one key. Right, what are we feeling? I'm thinking we'll do a gold chest because we can get to all these gold chests now that we have with ladder. So if we just go whoop. Ace of spades. Hmm. Ah la la la. Nope, I think the synergy is too good to pass up. I think we'll keep Burn Penny. Of course, that is assuming Sack of Pennies has something to do with giving me pennies. Honestly, I don't know. And Gold Key, that is perfect. Now we can open up all the chests and anything else we see. So, that is okay. That's exactly what we needed. Is it worth us going into the shop? We may as well, I guess. Well, there's the Bible. Uh, too early to get the Bible. Not something I'm particularly interested in. Um, take the key. I know I've got golden key, but it only lasts for this room as far as I'm aware. So it'd be nice to have stock up on a couple of keys now. And yeah, that's about it. So pretty uneventful, that shop really. So, in that case, there's another secret room over there. I'm very excited about getting uh, X-ray glasses, because that is a really useful item. Hmm. Interesting. We'll come back to that. See, how, see if we can get some more coins until then. Whoa, buddy. Ooh. This one's going to be awkward and one all over the place. Alright, fair enough. Gotcha. Alright, get the coin. Alright, we're going to go in this room just because we have tons of bombs. Ooh, growth hormones. Ah, yes. And we're literally <laughs> going to just bomb everything. Because, call me lazy, but... Uh, we have infinite bombs. 
pretty much. Yeah, bombs ain't gonna work against it, against these guys. Because they're bomb resistant. Well, when they're like down, the bomb resistant. You know what I mean. Ah, that was bad. <laughs> Key, coin, bomb, all the good things. Oh, hello, homeless man. Um, mm, mm, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, maybe. Oh, wow. Worth. Alright, I'll take habit all day. Even though I always take habit, and quite honestly, I'm not entirely sure what it does, but. Pretty sure it's a pretty good item. And peep, you do that just to annoy me. And we're cutting this a bit close, actually. You've got to be careful here. Because we're actually out of bombs now, too. And I think Cube of Meat just saved me there. Uh. Oh, oh dear. Oh, the slowdown is working. No, it isn't. And I'm dead. <sighs> too busy paying attention to the bombs, to the burnt penny, the everything. It's too busy to pay attention to my health. And that's what happens. Got too reckless. Okay. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode.